Now, remember, one of the most important findings from the Mueller probe revolved around Manafort and Ukraine. But are there bad actors being ignored in this situation? In May of 2018, former Congressman Pete Sessions sent Secretary of State Pompeo an urgent letter imploring him to remove the U.S. ambassador to Ukraine, Marie Ivanovich. Ivanovich, an Obama holdover, remains in the post today. She's reportedly demonstrated clear anti-Trump bias. Now, she isn't the only part of Obama's orbit to have extensive exposure in Ukraine. Former Obama White House counsel, Clinton-linked attorney Greg Craig, may soon be charged by the Justice Department. He allegedly engaged in illegal, unregistered overseas lobbying for the Russian-backed president of Ukraine. And there are sources revealing to the Ingram Angle tonight that Biden and other officials were actively involved in Ukrainian matters through Trump's inauguration. Biden even visited Ukraine 10 days before Trump was sworn in. Uh, it's a great pleasure to be once more here in, here in Kyiv uh, to reaffirm the depth, the depth of the partnership between our two peoples. This is my uh, sixth visit to Ukraine as vice president. So what do you need to know about this Obama connection in Ukraine, how it relates here? Here to tell us, Joe DeGeneva, former U.S. attorney, Peter Schweitzer, investigative reporter, author of the book Secret Empires, coming out in paperback on Tuesday. Joe, I bet the Obama administration did not see that one coming. No, they didn't. And in fact, uh, Laura, uh, you mentioned that Ambassador Marie Yovanovitch, uh, uh, contrary to what a lot of people thought, was still in her job. Uh, I learned this evening that the president has ordered her dismissal from her post as the United States ambassador to Ukraine as a result of her activities there, which were complained of by Congressman Session. She is known and reported by people there to have bad mouth the president of the United States, Donald Trump, to have told Ukrainians not to listen to him or obey his policy because he was going to be impeached. And finally, her activities have caught up with her. And Peter, why we learn now tonight from Joe that this ambassador has been removed, should have been removed a year ago. Uh, that's a separate story of what's going on in the State Department. But what do we need to know about Biden's frequency of, of visits to Ukraine? Yeah, no, it's, it's very curious, uh, Laura. Uh, he was the point person for the Obama administration to Ukraine. And, of course, a very complex situation there between some pro-Russian factions, uh, Ukrainian nationalists. Uh, in, in April of 2014, Joe Biden goes to Ukraine to meet with Ukrainian officials. As he's there, his son, Hunter Biden, is placed on the board of this corrupt energy company called Burisma. Uh, Burisma is run, was founded by and run by a uh, Ukrainian energy minister who was tied to the previous pro-Russian government. Uh, and we know from financial records that as Joe Biden is interacting with Ukrainian officials, his son, over a 14-month period, is connected to a bank account that receives $3.1 million from the Ukrainians. Dare, dare I add that Hunter Biden has no background in Ukraine. He has no background in energy policy. Okay. And, his, <laughs> and his, job reportedly, yeah. his job reportedly was regulatory compliance. What Hunter Biden knows about that in Ukraine who knows? So it's it's a very, very troublesome issue and I think has all the markings of payoffs going to the Bidens. Hmm. Uh, Joe, we got to get your reaction to the report tonight real quick. Uh, there's no question about it that this has all the markings of bribery and extortion. And it's something that deserves a full blown investigation into the conduct of the Biden family in Ukraine. There's some very disturbing detail, details about it. They're about to come out in reporting by John Solomon. And I think once those details come out, I think there's going to have to be a full-fledged criminal investigation. And, and revealing perhaps deep connections to how the Mueller uh, probe I, started? Oh, absolutely, because what, what happened was the, the ambassador there who has been, who's been removed was involved in generating false information okay. about Manafort, other information that went into the so-called black, yeah. black binders. All right, Joe, hold that. We got to take a break. We'll be right back. My final thoughts.